For a second at Don Olson Field, you could almost forget that we were in the middle of a global pandemic. For the first time in what seems like forever, an organized sports team is practicing. It's exciting just to be out here. Um, you know, when this whole thing first started, there, there was a lot of doubt that we'd be able to get to this point. And uh, just kind of nice to get back to a little bit of uh, some normalcy. When Governor Bullock announced a phased reopening in Montana, it opened up the door for the state's 62 Legion baseball teams to begin practicing. The Great Falls Chargers received approval from the Cascade County Health Department on Tuesday morning and hit the field later that afternoon, albeit with some changes. We kind of submitted a proposal to them of how we were going to practice. Um, we're running two sessions, so we limit uh, the amount of kids that we have out here at one time. We're trying to stay six feet apart. I know it's kind of hard to do out here playing catch and stuff like that. We, after at practice, we have to take out every ball and wipe it down. It takes time out of our practice and what we could be doing more stuff, but you got to stay safe too. So Games are still a ways off. The Chargers are eyeing May 22nd as their potential Legion opener, but that's all contingent on Montana moving to Phase 2 of reopening. If we get into Phase 2 and we're able to play games, uh, there would be no fans in there. We'll have to live stream games for people to watch. I, I think at this point we'll, we'll take whatever we can get. Despite the added challenges of social distancing at practice and the uncertainty of what the future holds for Legion baseball, there's no place the Chargers would rather be and nothing they'd rather be doing. Now we don't have a schedule and we just kind of going with the flow uh -huh. so we don't know how to really prepare right now but it feels like we're getting back to normal and we're just taking the steps to get there. Tom Wiley, MTN News.